Hi everyone, I'm Erin from I'm Raising Cane and tonight we're making chaffle bread and chaffle pizza crust. Now we're not doing your traditional chaffle. We're not using a waffle maker. We're going to bake it in the oven so you can slice it to use as bread for any sandwich or toast it for breakfast toast. So let's get started. So I have an empty bowl, of course, and then I have my trash bowl. But the ingredients we'll need today are a few teaspoons of coconut flour, some shredded cheddar or a blend, a cheddar blend, some mozzarella cheese, some chive sour uh, cream cheese, eight eggs, tablespoon of baking powder, and I throw in some seasonings of onion powder, garlic powder, and some garlic herb seasoning. So we're gonna crack the eggs, mix them up, and then we'll add our cheese. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I am a retired mom at two, Bucks County, Pennsylvania. Married for too long. <laughs> um, my husband's a retired fireman and he has a job working public transportation right now. Um, we are waiting for adoption of a rescue dog from Turkey and his name is Duke. So hopefully he'll be here in a couple weeks. So now I'm going to whisk these up. I almost forgot to preheat the oven. We're going to set the oven for 375. So I want to know how everyone is doing during quarantine or post-quarantine for hopefully a lot of you. Oh, right now I'm adding a few tablespoons of chive cream cheese just to give it a little extra flavor. Here in our area, unfortunately, our schools are, our school district is closed until February 2nd. So that is not something a lot of the residents here are crazy about, but kind of do what you got to do right now. So I am just going to whisk together the cream cheese and the eggs. And right now I'll add some garlic powder. Well, this is onion powder, so I'll add a little dash of this. And a little dash of that. And some of this garlic herb seasoning. It's delicious. Last night I steamed some crabs. I cooked up some crabs and shrimp with the garlic herb seasoning and some butter. Delicious. I mean, it's switched me from Old Bay. I can just say that. So just throw that in there. Oh, tastes really good with the pizza crust. So get these out of the way. Give them a little whisk. Now I'll add the baking powder. It's just about a teaspoon. I'm sorry, a tablespoon. So this will just give it a little height, a little leavening. tablespoons of coconut flour. I'd probably go with like two. Coconut flour is definitely a lot what I want to call tougher than almond flour. So a little goes a long way with coconut flour. I just have to say I'm no keto expert. I've been off and on keto for about three years 
and I was doing great until the quarantine happened and so now I've regrouped and gotten myself back together. So coconut flour. We're just going to mix this all together. And it's just your standard looking egg mixture. And now we're going to add two cups of a cheddar blend. I have in the house today as a Fiesta blend from Great Value. Now I would normally shred it all, but this is what I had. So, and if it's a big recipe like this, sometimes you gotta cut corners. Oven's ready. So one, two, it'd also be good if you threw some Parmesan cheese in there, some shredded Parmesan would be great also, especially if you're going to use it as like a garlic bread or a pizza crust. So, a little lumpy. And this is a low moisture part skin mozzarella. this all up with our spatula. Let's pop this back here for now. So we're just going to go in and fold all the cheese in. You could hit this with your immersion, bl immersion blender, but um, I'm just going to leave it whole for now. Maybe get a little bit of uh, cheese pull in there. But surprisingly this bread and pizza crust, it really does rise to actually give you the real feel of bread and a pizza crust. Tricked my kids. So once you have it all incorporated, I lined my, I have a pizza pan and a quarter sheet. And all I did was put parchment paper on them. If you just want to make sure extra it doesn't stick, you can grab your cooking spray and just give it a once over. I feel like this is my junk area back here. So, just going to pour some on here. About half it, and about the other half on here. Get it all in there. Sometimes I might throw a little almond flour in it, a little more coconut flour, just depends. Just eyeball and see what looks right. Now this does look a little runny. Probably should have added a little more coconut flour, but we're gonna make it work because I know it's gonna be delicious. So I do this recipe about once a week and I'll cut it up and leave it in the refrigerator and make sandwiches, toast it up, put some flavored cream cheese and everything but the bagel seasoning on there. And it is delicious and satisfying and you really do feel like you're eating bread or a faux bagel. All right, we got one down. I'm just gonna pop this one in the oven. So you wanna cook it for about 15 to 20 minutes at 375, but keep your eyes on it. You don't want it, you don't want it too dark because you'll probably reheat it through the week. Let's spread this out some. Sometimes I will just take another piece of parchment and lay it over top, but this will just use our rubber spatula. And this is Born the Bake. Love baking and cooking. 
and try to manipulate recipes to make them to fit my eating. So, that's good. It stays on there nice, make a nice crust. Now with the bread, you can also sprinkle on top some everything but the bagel seasoning, and it comes out delicious. Like I said, this for a midnight snack, you can make a cheese ball, which we will make. Um, you can make your traditional cheese ball and put it on there too, and it's delicious. This one's going in also. I'm going to set the timer for 18 minutes and then check on it then. See you in 18. I think it's time to take them out of the oven. Oh yeah. We have our pizza crust here and our bread here. Feel nice and done. I did end up opening the oven and sprinkling some everything but the bagel seasoning on there because it's so good. So I'm gonna let that sit there and cool. And I figured I might as well turn this into a pizza now because I'm hungry. So let's do that. So I do have some great value pizza sauce only because it's actually pretty lower in carbs compared to any other pasta sauce. I don't have any Rayos right now, but we'll make do with this. So I'm gonna take this, grab some mozzarella cheese and some Parmesan cheese. So, I have everything I need. I'll grab a spoon and get this working. Put the oven back on. Make it for about 400. 425. I don't know what I'm doing tonight. No kids home. It's crazy around here. So I'm just going to do a couple tablespoons on here. I was thinking about making a pickle pizza, which is my favorite, but no one else likes it. So if I make it, I get it over myself. I'll have to make that for you guys one day. So. Just spread this around. Another way I get everyone to stay away from my pizza is to add red pepper flakes. That will be even good in the crust. Alright, so we're just going to do... I like a lot of sauce, but we're trying to be good here. We're trying to be good. Get rid of that quarantine weight. So, take this. Throw it in the sink. Parmesan action here. Ooh, got a lot of Parmesan action here. All right. And some mozzarella. Now my hands are clean, but it's my pizza anyway, so who cares? Make it some ooey gooey cheesy pizza feel like from the movie Mystic Pizza. If you ain't never seen it, watch it. Here we go. Don't forget, <laughs> it's still hot. So let's take this and throw it back in the oven. Probably take about another five minutes, so we'll check back in then. All right, so it's been about five minutes since I put the pizza back in the oven. And let's, ooh, that looks good. So check it out. 
So with that recipe, we made a whole pizza and a whole bunch of bread or toast for the week. Easy peasy, and it's better than having it on a waffle shape. So for this, since I'm claiming it as my own, I will put some red pepper flakes on it and some oregano. Now you can load this pizza up with pepperoni, sausage, veggies, anything you might like. But me, sometimes it's nice to have a plain cheesy pizza. Especially when you're all alone, you can have it all to yourself. Thanks for cooking with me. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Don't forget to come back and join me for some more fun. Bye! I'm back because let's give this a try. Oh my god. That is so good. I probably have it all over my face and I don't care. It's so good. This totally satisfies any pizza craving you might have. Wow.